stay on the ground. I'm ready to go. Yeah. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Okay, I'm ready to go. I been said I was ready to go. Turn your phone off. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video, man. Y'all see the thumbnail. Y'all see the title, man. You see what happened at that club, man. Hey, look. It was a close call for Mama Duck and Ruga, man. Look, somebody knew where they was at, man. And apparently, good thing Ruga had his dudes with him. Or else that could have been a serious, serious situation, man. You got to understand. Dirk and them. Varney and them. Whatever. They super, super salty. So they... Trying to make it so that everybody get hit up, man. Anywhere around Chicago, Milwaukee, uh, Gary, Indiana, whatever it is, man. It's basically just a no-go zone, bro. You already know that these little areas is basically for the street people to run around and do their mess at, man. So, hey, look. Dark and them, man, they sent that, bro. They, they basically, who else is going to do it? Who else is going to send that? Like, who else had problems? To, to off shots like that, man. And it wasn't even a show, it wasn't nothing. It was literally just a club. Man. Two people got hit, man. Two people like passed, six people sh got hit. So condolences, man, and rest in peace to the two that didn't make it. But like, man, this venue, bro, they got it all on footage. Um, two dudes with dreads came and one of them had the, the blonde tips. Maybe it was like blondish red tips, man. And you could see the OTF chain on one of them. He tried to tuck it, but it was hanging out the vest. And that's how you knew, first of all, that was the first sign that this was basically, a, um, you know, OTF, like trying to come and, and send a message or something like that. So next thing you know, they like get in the Ruga and them people's face, but the, you know, his security surrounded like his security stepped in the way and was nah what you think you doing they want to they act like they was going to take a picture with ruga and they're like you ain't going to take a picture with nobody with all that mask on vest and everything and then that's when dude tried to pull uh, a strap out from his waistband but security already knew what he was on and security had his um like on his back hip and he pulled it out and um because the otf dude was you know, acting weird and goofy, he had to protect himself. So the Ruga security pulled out his and boom, hit one of the OTF dudes. And the OTF dudes start running away and trying to just boom, 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 shoot as they're running away out the door. And they like trampling over tables, people going crazy at this point. Then you hear like a, uh, it was like a bunch, a bunch of rounds go off. Then you hear people leave out the door and then you hear a second round of, of uh, shots fire again like because somebody tried to come back in and stick their arm in and blow the um and blow the tech nine like right out the door right but they fired back hit the dude's hand and the otf guys ran off into somewhere else basically and now they on the run they, they finna get caught up because they both got hit one guy hit in the hand the other guy hit in the stomach and what you gotta realize is is that Whoever sent them on this, this was the stupidest thing that they could do, man, because now they just caught a case. They just did everything in furtherance of OTF. That's why this big Rico is going to come on uh, OTF because of this. Like, you got to understand everybody's about sick and tired of, like, all this, all this stuff going on, man. So they got to put an end to it. The only way they're going to put an end to it is just like the Young Thug situation, man. Young Thug was doing the same thing out there, man, where he was calling shots and people was getting hit up left and right every weekend, just like how Dirk and OTF and them are kind of um, going about. So if YSL, um, 
does stuff just like OTF does, then OTF gonna get a Rico just like YSL did, man. And Lil Durk gonna end up in the same situation as Young Thug. And all the Lil Durk artists gonna end up in the same situation as Gunna. And somebody is just gonna go down exactly the way. That's exactly what it reminded us of. So keep close ties on this OTF situation and the FBG Cash situation, man. Um, condolences to his sister and his sister confirmed most of the stuff but she get ready to move out of town you know and it's not safe anymore so like it's bad it's, it's a good choice for her to just go ahead and get the u-haul and you know sources are saying some of the neighbors said that they did see a big u-haul truck out in front of the um in front of the apartments and she was putting her tv in there Renner Center came and got some of the items that they that she had um, used from them. And basically, she's leaving now. She's going to go and move to Orlando. And basically, in Orlando, at least, it's a little bit more quieter than, than Chicago. But it's, you know, it's going to be more peaceful for her. Like, man, you know, we don't want to have fbg cash sister go through any more issues that she has and it's like after already losing the brother man it's like she does need a fresh restart in orlando a whole new life you know and everything um and that way people could leave her alone and this is really all alleged so and now this is this is like coming right after the fact that mama duck and jay chiruga literally almost got hit in this club in Gary, Indiana. And so, you know, if one moment is Gary, Indiana, and it's already people shooting in Chicago, then it's like, it's really like a good time for all of the people to get out, like all the um, Cash's family, um, basically Mama Duck might as well. Like, I mean, you know, she could stay and everything like that. But like, at some point you gotta realize that it's best situation is to move out of Chicago, man. You know, that's what a lot of people be preaching nowadays. It's like, why stay in the area that's just so filled with just the craziest stuff in the world that happens? You lose people every day and you can't even, you got to sleep with one eye open, basically, and one finger on the, on the strap ready to go, you know, one in the head. So it's like, you want to live that type of life or would you rather actually like go somewhere where the people are happy and like they could walk outside they could go for a jog and, and a walk and get the mail they could go fishing and actually get good sunlight instead of windy every day cloudy every day cold and just concrete jungle you know the projects is not somewhere where mind can be at peace so what you have to realize is that Mama Duck, all of them, FBG Cash Sister, they're all going to eventually end up moving. And that's probably the best situation for them. But they can at least own, you know, I think it's just only right if 63rd, uh, 63rd Street in Chicago, they just gave, um, you know, and let them own some of the buildings, man. Mama Duck definitely deserved that apartment complex on 63rd and basically she could own that and move to you know a different town but she could be making all the money off the rent uh, on 63rd street that way 63rd is fbg forever but she don't have to stay there and take all the risks that come with it you see what i'm saying she can get the property on 63rd and then move away and then put somebody else in the in the 63rd property that that can pay the rent, regular family, someone that's not going to be street guys that are going to get targeted by the guys from Gateway Gardens. And then the same with Gateway Garden, like somebody at some point they're gonna knock down Gateway Gardens just like how they knocked down the the Jordan Towers, man. So they're gonna demolish O Block at some point. And you know, once it gets closer and closer to that day, is just going to be more and more beef that that comes around, you know, until the day where everybody's going to have to move. Because once Chicago is it, going to start messing with the city's money, when it starts messing with the city's money, that's when they're going to realize that they have to demolish O Block and that everybody's going to have to go um, and transfer their Section 8 vouchers. And that's basically how these things go, man, in the hoods and all that, like, thinking forward. 
Um, but yeah, rest in peace to the two that got hit, man. And continue to come check back on the channel, subscribe to the channel, and we're going to have another one coming up for you.